welcome back to my channel today i wanted to do a what i wish i would have known about the third trimester video i think this video could be super helpful for anyone in their first pregnancy or even in like a following pregnancy that they just want to know what other people are experiencing during the third trimester because i really think every pregnancy can be different um Going into this third trimester, I really had no idea what to expect and I just want to talk to you guys about everything that I truly wish I would have known. <laughs> At the end of this video, I did go on my Instagram and ask you guys to ask me some questions just overall that you wanted to know about the third trimester. So I'm going to go over the things that I wish I would have known first and then at the end of this video, I'm going to answer some questions from you guys. Okay y'all, so I have my phone here, I have everything written down and in my notes so that I can make sure I'm hitting every single topic for you guys. So I'm just going to jump straight into the things I wish I would have known about the third trimester. The first thing I wish I would have known or taken maybe more seriously because I feel like it's something that you always hear. Um, is that you always have to pee. I've always seen like memes and people saying it and things on TV about pregnant women and always having to pee, but I don't think I took it as seriously as it really is because I mean, you always have to pee. I literally cannot go 30 minutes, sometimes in hours, like pushing it for having to pee. I mean, and it's not like, oh, I have to pee. Like, it's like, Oh my goodness, it hits you out of nowhere like you haven't gone to the bathroom in hours and you need to go right then and there. I mean, really, like it is absolutely insane. I'll be sitting in the car or I'll be walking and then all of a sudden I'll get this urge like if I don't go in the next like two to three minutes, I'm gonna have an accident. <laughs> like seriously, no joke about it. I really wasn't expecting it to be so crazy i thought like oh you have to pee like the baby's putting pressure on your bladder here and there like more than you normally do but nothing crazy no this is <laughs> crazy you have to go all the time in the night i probably wake up like at least four to five times sometimes six depending on the night and i have to go to the bathroom like i have to pee and then now in the third trimester it definitely gets a little bit more difficult to sleep that is also something i wish i would have known um it's hard just to get comfortable with your arm and your belly and like the way you're moving if i lay on a certain side sometimes my back starts to ache the other side it doesn't ache it's like you really just need to find your groove and get comfortable because with a combination of going to the bathroom in the middle of the night and just feeling uncomfortable while trying to get comfy sleeping, sleeping can also be super rough. So those are two things right off the bat. I would say that I wish I would have realized or known. The next thing I would say that I didn't realize was going to be so difficult is being out of breath. Oh my goodness, you guys. Being out of breath, it's like none other thing I, I've experienced before. Like, of course, you might know what it's like to be out of breath, but this is like a different, like you are so out of breath from walking from the bedroom to the living room. Or I've noticed that when I'm cooking dinner at night or even in the morning or something, whenever I'm cooking, like mixing things or putting ingredients together or something, I have to sit down while doing it. I'll literally drag like a bar stool or something into my kitchen because I cannot stand up and do it because I get so overwhelmingly like tired and exhausted and I feel my chest like, oh my God, it is so rough. Even while I'm talking right now, like I feel like I'm just like, because it really, anything you do that kind of, I wouldn't even say overexerts yourself, just anything you do overexerts yourself. So it is truly, I wasn't expecting it to be so, so rough of being out of breath. Doing my makeup and my hair today, I had, I normally can stand up and do it today. I couldn't, I guess just because grabbing things, doing it all, curling my hair, everything you don't realize makes a big toll or can take a big toll on you and just make you so out of breath. I mean, really. So that is something that I wish I would have known because there's not much you can do about it, but it's just good to know that 
it's normal and that it's a struggle because when it first started happening to me i literally thought like there's something wrong with me like <laughs> because it was so difficult to just catch a breath and get a good breath so i mean that was not expected and very very rough <laughs> the next thing i wish i would have known about because it doesn't happen to every pregnant person but it did happen to me and i actually just talked to my friend who it happened to as well and i had another friend who it didn't happen to and that is leaky nipples i know a little bit of a tmi but i want to keep it real with you guys um because i wish i would have known i would say I don't want to say majority of women don't start leaking or have anything from their nipples until the baby is about to be due or um, when the baby's born, but I started having it probably about a month ago maybe, and the weird thing about me is that it's only on one side. It is only on my left side that I leak, and if you're thinking that it's milk, it's not milk. It is a liquid called Colossum, I believe that's how you say it. Um, and Colossum, it's basically just like, I think, the beginnings of your milk being made. I'm not, it's like before your milk is completely produced. Um, and I leak it all the time, only from one side. It is so strange. I know people leak once they have the baby and they're breastfeeding and all that good fun stuff, but I was not expecting to leak before the baby got here or even months before the baby got here. So I really wasn't expecting that. I had no idea I would need a nipple pad um, to help me not stain all my clothes or bras or whatever. Even at night, I'll wake up and my arm will have it, I'll have it all over my arm, I'll have it on my chest, I'll have it everywhere and I'll have to like wipe it up. I mean, really, I was not expecting that one bit. So that is something that may happen to you or may never happen to you because a lot of women don't get it and I know that some do. So I really wasn't expecting it. I feel like not too many people talk about getting it in their third trimester. So I felt like I needed to mention that. It's definitely something I wish I would have known about so that when it started, I wasn't so like, oh my goodness. Okay, so the next thing is baby's kicks get way more intense than I thought. I mean, in the second trimester, they start kicking usually and you feel it and they're just like light little taps and it's cute and it's enjoyable. But when you get to the third trimester, that baby is running out of room. He is stretching, moving, rolling all around, and you feel it. I mean, last night even, I woke up one of the times to go pee, and I had this the worst rib pain to realize that it was, I'm thinking a leg up there by my ribs, just causing me some discomfort because, wow. Um, sometimes I'll get kicks and they don't hurt, but they feel like, oh gosh, like he got me good. <laughs> so I definitely wasn't expecting those kicks to get way more intense. Um, even that when he moves around, you get that wave kind of on your belly. It is sometimes weird, sometimes feels a little funky. And <laughs> I just don't think I was expecting those kicks to get so, so into it. <laughs> so that is what i would have to say about things that i wish i would have known about the third trimester just uncomfortable so many changes are happening you really don't even know what to expect what's going to happen so i mean there is a lot might be a little bit of a roller coaster ride i know other women have so many other problems and issues um the different types of pains and aches and all that good fun stuff but this is everything that happened to me. Every pregnancy is different, so you just kind of have to wait and see. But I definitely hope that this kind of gives you a ballpark of things that could happen. <laughs> okay, so before I answer the questions, I'm actually going to do a little belly update. Just show you guys what my stomach looks like. Okay, so this is kind of what my stomach looks like right now. From the front, this is what it looks like. 
I do have that little line. This is from a previous surgery that I had, abdominal surgery, but this is kind of what everything is really looking like, you guys. No stretch marks, not sure if I'll get them. I feel like I'm kind of dropping a little bit, but this is it. Okay, so now jumping over to the questions I was asked on Instagram. I know this video is already a little long, probably, um, but I am gonna answer some questions that I received. I picked like six or seven that I thought were worth answering, that they were good questions, and most of these were asked a couple of times. So I, don't, I couldn't get to every single question, but these are the ones I felt like were the best to answer. So, someone said, what is the most uncomfortable thing? Oh, I'm like, everything. <laughs> That's a hard one to answer because everything. But, um, I probably say being out of breath because that is something that just happens and you just get, like, so uncomfortable with it. Um... And it just, it makes you feel like your chest is so tight, it's hard to breathe, it's hard to take deep breath, it's hard to catch your breath. I mean, that is just not a fun thing to deal with. Along with that, you're just getting so big, having a hard time moving around, standing, sitting, walking, everything. So overall, I would just say everything is uncomfortable, but being out of breath for me, I think would take the plate because... To me, it is just not a fun thing to deal with. The next thing is any weird things. Um, I think one thing that is weird that I've never had the problem before is being out of balance. I probably could have mentioned that in the things of what things I could have um, or I wanted to expect. But being off balance, not being able to stand up straight, being super wobbly, that is something that is super weird to me because I've never been super like clumsy, even while just like walking um, and standing. Like I've never like been like, whoa. <laughs> and now I definitely am. I mean, I don't know how many times my husband like, like it's like, oh my God, are you okay? Because I'll like completely stumble, fall back. And we're like at the grocery store <laughs> and it looks like I'm gonna knock over everything in the aisle. So that is something that was that's very weird <laughs> because it's just not really like me and I don't even know why I'm so off balance, but this has been like this literally since first trimester. I have been so off balance. This one is a question that I actually thought was very funny, um, but it's also a good question. And it says, do you find pregnancy to be as beautiful as everyone makes it seem? So this one, like I said, I thought it was kind of a funny question, <laughs> um, but it definitely is a good one to answer and to say. And I would say the process of making a baby is beautiful and like knowing that you made, like knowing that you have this your, your child inside of you, that's the beautiful part. But the actual pregnancy, I would say not. As beautiful <laughs> so I know people say pregnancy is a beautiful thing da, 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 and it is in the sense of you made a baby and that's it <laughs> actually being pregnant and going through it less beautiful more not beautiful <laughs> so it's nice having a belly, it's fun, but it takes a toll, definitely. Obviously, I wouldn't change anything. I'll do anything to make my baby comfortable and happy, and as long as he's good, I'm good. But it is it is hard. It's not something so easy. I mean, I, I give credit to all the moms out there because being pregnant is... It can be a little rough at times, you know? People go through it, they go through it more than once. They do this all for their child. Of course you would, of course I will a million times over again, but it is a little rough. So I wouldn't say pregnancy itself really is as beautiful as everyone makes it seem, but the act of making your baby, I guess, is. 
Someone said, are you enjoying it or wanting it to end? This is a very good question. I kind of talked about it a little bit in the beginning. Um, I, I like being pregnant because of my belly and I like feeling him inside of me um, and having him all to myself. But I think more so at this point, I am ready for him to come out. I'm ready to kind of start feeling kind of like myself again. I know that I won't necessarily go right back to feeling like myself in the beginning. Um, postpartum and stuff I know can be a struggle and has a lot of different challenges and aspects that will come up. But I think just having him here and not having all this extra crazy stuff going on I think will be more enjoyable for me. Someone said, do you have heartburn or sleepless slash restless legs? I believe they're called restless legs. Um, but I do not have either of those. Um, I don't have typical heartburn. Um, and it's funny because a lot of people say that you get heartburn if your baby has a lot of hair and I haven't had heartburn so I don't know if I'm expecting a bald baby <laughs> but I haven't had heartburn but whenever I eat I do get pretty bad like stomach aches and stomach pains which my doctor did mention could be another way that heartburn is manifesting itself and that in every pregnancy you kind of get heartburn in different ways so I may have kind of some type of heartburn situation going on but it's not the typical heartburn which i'm super grateful for because i know that is just a struggle i've had some heartburn in the past so i truly cannot imagine having it every single day but i know some people do um and sleepless and restless legs i haven't had those too much either i think i've had them three or four times it's not fun it's like i feel like to me it feels like electricity is going through your legs and that's why they kind of like shake but thankfully i have not had them too often okay guys so i'm gonna wrap up the video here i know this video i haven't edited yet but i know that this video is probably so long <laughs> so if you've stuck with me thank you i appreciate you guys i'm going to be doing a things I put on my baby registry video next that one is a highly requested video so I will have that uploaded in the next few days I promise um, hopefully this video helps you guys hopefully the baby registry video helps you guys to kind of get an idea of some things that you can put on your registry and I will see you guys in the next video